Hi, I'm Leslie Meredith with Brave Folk Events and Media. I'm here in Dubai at Brave Folk Middle East. And joining me in the studio this morning is Vanessa Welch with Emirates Maritime Arbitration Center. That's right. Right? Yes. EMAC for sure. Okay, well that makes it a lot easier. Yes. Vanessa, so tell us about EMAC. What is it that, that you do in this industry? Well, um, the Emirates Maritime Arbitration Center was established in 2016 after a call from the maritime industry in the region for an arbitration center that is local. Um, in the past, they've had to go to international arbitration centers, which is based in London, New York, Singapore, Hong Kong. And um, in response to the call, uh, the, a, a decree was issued in April 2016, uh, whereby the the Maritime Arbitration Center, EMAC, was established um, by Sheikh Mohammed, Sheikh Mohammed um, uh, established the center. Um, in the same year, in November of 2016, um, the center kicked off its operations, put in place of the secretariat. It is overseen by uh, 14 uh, members of the board who are all um, part of the maritime industry at large in, in this region. Since 2016, what we've actually done is gone out to market to build awareness of what we do and how we can support the industry. And it's not just maritime. It relates to supply chain, logistics and commodities, as well as offshore energy. And that's what we've done since 2016. Interesting. So when, why would a company come to you? What are some of the scenarios in play? Well, you have, when you have an, a dispute, so uh, two parties have a dispute that they cannot settle commercially, what they'll then do is either take to litigation, whereas you'll go to court, or you'll go for alternative dispute resolution. So in the alternative dispute resolution, you have very, various mechanisms. One is arbitration, where your judge is actually qualified and, and understands the merits of the case, and you choose your judge. And then mediation, which is a little bit more of a flexible way to settle a dispute. So you've got a third party who, again, is qualified and understands the merits of the case, and then can help you resolve the case. Interesting. So <clears throat> why would a company choose to go to arbitration as opposed to going to trial? Well, um, or to there's the various, courts? various region, uh, reasons. Um, when you go to litigation, you're subject to the schedule of the courts. When you go to arbitration, you have a set of rules and it allows for uh, uh, an element of flexibility. So you can dictate the timelines, you, you choose your judge again. Um, it's also said to be a lot more cost effective, but that depends on the time frames because you still have to hire lawyers and pay those fees. But in terms of arbitration, it's a more flexible process. Now with arbitration, you can enforce, the, once the award is issued, it, it's enforceable in any one of the New, uh, New York Convention states. So it doesn't necessarily need to be enforced here. If it's a New York state um, that you would like to enforce the award at, so if the assets are somewhere else and the country is party to the New York Convention, then you can go and enforce the award elsewhere. Oh, that's interesting. That's certainly an advantage. Um, tell me, Vanessa, you're obviously a um, well-known business woman here. Uh, what, what has that experience been like for you? Um, I work in an organization that is um, funded by the government. What I do find about uh, with the UAE government as such is there's equal opportunity. There is no judgment as to your gender. If you can do, or if you can do the job, you, you are awarded um, the role. It's not a case of whether you are a woman or a man, it's what qualifications you have. My personal view on uh, women working in, within this industry specifically is that there's a lack of knowledge as to how they can contribute in the industry. In maritime, for instance, when I've spoken to a lot of women, um, they've said that maritime is too technical. But some of the best lawyers, some of the best maritime economists 
work specifically for this industry. So it's about awareness, it's about women leaning into the industry and building a new talent pool within maritime logistics and supply chain.